Hi, I'm Aaron from Galvin Engineering, and today I'd like to demonstrate a couple maintenance tips on any of our Easy Push top assemblies. But today we'll be focusing on our TD15 remote push button drinking tap. One of the key things about this particular product is how you adjust the flow and how to service the top assembly as the uh, unit ages. Today's maintenance tips will be focusing on the TD15P remote drinking bubbler. This is the main body of the unit that's installed inside of a trough. The first thing you would need to know is the adjustable flow control. On the bottom of the valve, there is a dummy screw at the bottom. If that screw is removed, it will review, I reveal a uh, screw underneath there. That is the one that you will twist to adjust the flow. The next tip is maintaining the product. Um, generally, over time, this top assembly may become sticky or stick open. I will show you on another top assembly how to disassemble and to grease this product. This is the main top assembly in an easy push um, drinking bubbler. Uh, there are different models, but they're very similar in the way they work. Essentially, when you depress the button, water will flow through the bottom and out through these outlets, which provide water to the rest of the body. What we're going to do is take this spring assembly apart and remove the spindle so that we can grease it because there's an O-ring on the spindle part just up inside here. We're going to remove this circlet. Now this needs to be done. You're going to see my hands in there for a second. You need to compress the stainless steel washer and pull off the circlet. So I've removed the circlet and keep that off to the side. You will move stainless steel washer, the O on the spring. There's a little rubber there. The next part will be to press this valve out and down. That essentially will allow you to pull it apart. And there is an O-ring right at this spot. This is the spot that you need to grease. I recommend using some hydrosil grease. It's food grade and be, can be sourced from any of the plumbing merchants. With a little art brush, we just grease that spindle where that O-ring is. This is where it's going to catch when it's been running for a while and the grease is removed. It's pretty simple in just pushing it back together. You reseat this rubber in the bottom of the body. That's what seals the water when this pushes up. As you can see, it's free moving now. Next, you just put the components back on in the same order as that you removed it. When you put that on, you're going to have to hold the base of it and the top at the same time to compress it. Generally, I just put it onto the bench. You're to use a pair of needle nose just to compress that in there. Once that's compressed together, it's now operating. You just need to put the top assembly back into the body and reassemble the handle. And that's pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you need to get any assistance from us, you can read us on 1-300-514-074 and we'll assist you on the phone. But generally, it's pretty easy maintenance to do. You need to do it every six to 12 months, depending on how often it's used. Thank you very much.